a couple called asking for interior design services. The husband was a bit reserved while the wife did most of the talking. The session went like this. We just bought a four-bedroom duplex in Lekki and we would like to do the interior design of the space. She was kind enough to tell me the cost of the property. They don't talk about what they want in each space, furniture, drapery, original paintings, rugs, accent pillow, floor plants, pretty much everything. Long story short, they weren't bringing anything from their old house to this new home. Everything brand new. Then I asked for their budgets and got the rudest shock in the history of my career as an interior designer. 300,000 naira. Spontaneously, I said, Father, she repeated the same amount, 300,000 naira. I informed them that the budget was unrealistic, but they claimed their friend did have got the same budget, as it said, it's possible. At this point, I knew I had to be tactful instead to show them how things were. So I asked, do you have a piece of paper and a pen close by? They said yes. I also told them we would be doing some calculations together. I asked them, how many windows are in your living room? They said four. I further asked, what's the size of each window? They said roughly about four feet each. Then I told them the standard yards for the drapery to cover each four feet window. And that's 10 yards. So each window, 10 yards. And the price, I told them the price of each, each yard for the regular fabric. By the time we were done with the living room and the dining room area, we were way over budget. I didn't stop there. I went further. I told them the prices of beds, sofas, rugs, original paintings, floor plan, everything. She cut in immediately and said um, she would, they would like to rethink their budget. She sounded quite disappointed. But she had to know the truth. When dealing with situations like this or cases like this, we have to be one of one hundred percent real with clients. They would appreciate it in the long run. Have you been in such a situation before? How did you get through without losing your professionalism? Share in the comments to you. See you soon.